previously on the Dragon Prince. Everybody lied. <laughs> Everybody lied about everything. Stop lying. Yes. About to see my boy, the Great Dragon. Yes! Give it to me, Great Dragon. <laughs> it's not it wrong. Sorry, I get a little excited about dragons. You know what? I'm not sorry. Chapter 5, An Empty Throne. Do you really need to hide your butterfly collection? A volunteer. How eager. What are you doing with these <laughs> these insects? <gasps> oh god! What well, what was that? Is this Dragon Prince crack? That's the sky insignia? This doesn't end well for you. Last night you thought the cube was just a worthless toy. But now, you know, <laughs> it's a glow toy. Ezrin's always such a deep sleeper. See, when you're a pure of heart person, you can sleep. This might sound stupid, but actually this is something I think about. I've always had sleep issues, but at some point I learned that if I do one thing, like one thing that makes me feel good about the day, or one thing that makes me feel like my life is better or that I'm getting closer to my goals, or was in accordance with my values in some way, like there's some takeaway I can have from that day that makes me feel good, it's way easier to sleep. I feel way more satisfied with the day and I can like turn off. Does that make sense? So for Ezra, and I think the sleep thing matches his character really well because he does have a really strong character and a pure heart. Like, what's going to keep him up? You know? He's free. We grabbed a sack of bread at the Banther Lodge. I thought this was a sack of clubs. I hope they end up hitting someone with it later. Oh my god. No, it's food. Ish. Eventually. It's food eventually. Whatever that butterfly was, it sure made him happy. Thought I might run into you here. We need to talk. Viren is not hiding this whole thing well. Everyone's sort of onto him right away. It's magic. What is this thing made of? Magic. What do you mean, a girl or something? Time to hit the road. Why wear ourselves out walking on a road when we can let the river do the walking? Because they're being tracked. We're walking. That's final. Oh, does she not like water? I did everything in my power to protect King Harrow. I was willing to give my own life. You wanted this outcome. I couldn't be more selfless in my motivation. I am a servant of Catullus. I am a servant. Oh, that's what King Harrow said. You don't believe me. Then you take it. I'll support you as Queen Regent, and we'll send word to the other crowns of the Pentarchy immediately. Pentarchy. The throne stays empty until we find the boys. <sighs> I like how he just hits the messenger. I feel like Varen probably has some truth to what he's saying. He's doing method acting, right? He's like drawing from his actual feelings. Without knowing too much, I believe that he actually does see himself as a servant of the kingdom. I don't think this is all about power, and I think he actually does regret what happened with King Harrow, whatever that was. But there's more to it as well. He's just able to draw from those feelings to convey that. At least that's my impression so far. Glow toads, they're apparently delicious. He doesn't know how delicious he is, so shh. Mm. And that's how the noodle got its name. Everyone lies. Everyone lies in this show. I really wish I spoke sign language. <laughs> Time to learn, maybe. Why the hell was that so moving? <laughs> I didn't even understand what she was saying. May I light a candle? It's hard to know where to place them, you know? It's hard to know where the deception ends and the true Varen begins. It's interesting. <sighs> Five questions. That's all you get. We always heard all these crazy things about Zadia, like it was this place with just magic everywhere. It's not weird. In Zadia, magic is pretty much in everything. Good job taking her mind off the seasickness. See, it's working, right? Don't you feel a little better? Don't tell her. Question two. 
What are your parents like? They're dead. Oops. It's fine. Are they approaching a waterfall? Oh! This is totally random, going back to the magic thing. If magic were real, it would get old in like five seconds. Nobody would care. We already have magic. It's electricity and phones and the fact that my girlfriend can always figure out when I've stayed up too late playing video games. You know, it's all these things. We're bored by it because we're humans and we get bored by things. This is maybe the most useless <laughs> aside I've ever had. <laughs> Your sister made him better. Harold told me he was never as strong or brave as Queen Sarai believed him to be. Oh, that's who it is. She was compassionate and patient unless of course you took the last jelly tart a family trait i am sorry for what happened in the throne room you helped me see the truth and why was that so hard i was blinded by my abiding love of our kingdom i've encountered a giant pile of bull she's good droppings <laughs> wait what was the sign for bullshit guard fetch a stable boy quickly I've encountered a giant pile of bull. I can't see the end of it. It's like, and then something down here. I want to learn sign language now. The princes come first. Finding them is absolutely the top priority of the kingdom of Catullus. This acting is pretty good. I can feel when Viren is acting and when Viren is channeling something more sincere. That was a load of bull droppings, as she said. Then what are you suggesting? Get out of here. Return to the border. Hold it fast. It's where you're needed most. A party of our best will be dispatched immediately to find the princes. I will task my own children, Soren and Claudia, with leading the rescue expedition. How does that help? The mission will be assigned to... Commander Gren. That's... that's me. I, I am Commander Gren. Good to know. Does anyone else see bait? Oh no. <laughs> Watch out for the unagi. Hey, ocean rune. I've never seen it light up before. Wait, why would the ocean rune be? There it is. The unagi. Oh, I get it. it kind of is, actually. It's down to me, isn't it? Of course it is. Seems kind of risky. Yeah. Nice. It's actually pretty cool. And now they don't have to eat hard bread. Do not trust Viren. It may be a month from now. It may be a year. But he will stab you in the back. I'll be careful. I want to know what she's saying. <laughs> she's such an eloquent speaker, but I don't know what she said. Oh, Gren? Bad news. There's been a change of plans. No, not you, Soren. Soren will lead the rescue expedition. What? Soren, set up a meeting for Commander Gren and I to discuss his concerns. Somewhere quiet. Yes, very good. Nine suits my schedule. Damn, not 30 seconds after that moving speech I didn't understand? You're just gonna take it like that? Soren, man, I don't have to think of him. What do we know? He loves Callum. He loves apples. But he's sort of like, not immoral, amoral? Like he just doesn't have a clearly defined thing. To his credit, or like something I'd like to believe, is that he wants to find Callum because he cares about Callum. But who knows? For the most part, Soren seems to be all about Soren. Claudia seems a little bit more like, you know, in line with her father's vision of things. My parents aren't really dead. But I wish they were. Oh. My parents were part of an elite force, the Dragon Guard. Oh, wow. But when the humans came and killed the Dragon King, they ran away. I'm so ashamed. That's why I have to make things right. This is a journey of redemption. Here we go again. 
There's a very seductive nature to this idea that like, I'm gonna save my family's legacy or I'm gonna somehow undo the mistakes of the past or be better than my parents were, or my ancestors or whatever. I think as a starting point, it's good because it's like the beginning of an awareness of the fact that you can be different kinds of people or that you can choose to perpetuate behaviors or not perpetuate behaviors. And that's a huge insight. But I also think there's sort of a problem with this idea of I'm gonna redeem my family. First of all, there's sort of an arrogance to it. Like you are a sufficient judge of character and of action of people before you who probably have struggled a great deal. But also I feel like it sets you up for danger because in most of these cases, at least in my experience, you end up perpetuating the same behaviors that you say you hate. And I think a fuller understanding of the situation comes with the idea that these things that you are so angry about are, are first of all, not necessarily flaws. Maybe they're actually strengths, it's just maybe they were not properly applied. I think the question is not being dominated by those behaviors and also not being caught up in anger about it and rather seeing people who raised you or let's say people in your family as people who are flawed and are also responsible for their own mistakes. And I think redemption is a beautiful thing, but I think redemption doesn't come from like fixing the mistakes of people before you. Redemption comes from being who you truly are and being sort of like a self-master and incorporating the things you've learned and the traits that you've inherited, but not allowing them to, to dominate you or make you do things that you don't want to do. I think that's sort of a more balanced version of closure and redemption, I think. Oh no! Our boat seems to be drifting away. Yeah, you look real it disappointed. Just out my reach. What will we do now? <laughs> Oops. That was nice. So what's the deal with your wrist ribbon thing? Yeah. Does it mean something? Yeah. Oh, uh, nah. It's just decorative. Moonshadow elf thing, I guess. Everyone's always lying. Always lying. Why are you always lying? I apologize for my tardiness. It was only five minutes. So, do you want some butterfly crack? <laughs> what are your concerns? Well, <clears throat> you took me off the mission. Hmm, noted. Go on. And you threw me in this dungeon. Oh. Your feedback is a gift. Father, it's about our other prisoner. Other. He's still refusing to Oh, yeah. Eat. Then let him be hungry. I feel like this guy will just die. All right, well, the adventure is underway. Viren's plans are underway. A lot of lies, a lot of lies. Dragon Prince, everyone lies. That's the subtitle. One thing I'm very excited about going forward is now Soren's on the trail, right? So it's gonna be fun to see what happens when he catches up with the kids. I'll bet he has a lot to learn too. It'll be really interesting to see how he reacts to the egg and all this stuff and Rayla. A lot of potential. But anyway, that's the end of episode five. I'll see you soon for episode six.